I don't need this much just yet because I'm not making blue circuits, but I am going to put down these as well. So yeah, this many oh um yeah this this many assemblers in my last playthrough the, the one that didn't work that I recorded yesterday. Um, this turned out to be enough for what I was doing. So, in theory, it should be enough again. There we go. If you don't know how to do that, by the way, uh, very useful for copy pasting things quickly. Uh, shift right click will copy the settings of a building, shift left click will paste it. So right click, left click, and you can click and drag to do things quickly. Okay, so yeah, the so green circuit's looking nice. Now let's go and build some red circuits. Okay, um, I want a few more blue inserters for this. Why is no iron getting up that far? So it's all being taken by. Okay. Uh, Advanced Electronics 2. Did I do the modules already? No. Go away. So yeah, that was a mistake. I realised that Advanced Electronics 2 used Blue Science, so I couldn't do it, but I did actually take it out of the queue. Anyway. Right, so my Red Science setup is quite simple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that is a repeating pattern, so I'm going to put down a couple of them now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That'll be enough for now, I think. Okay. Then... They have inputs here. Miss one. Add miss one. And miss one. And miss one. Okay. Then they have outputs up here. They also have a set of inputs down here. Then blue inserters, thusly. Okay, and then we have not enough belts. Let's go and grab some more belts quickly. Um, yeah, I've got no belts in there because it's not getting iron for some reason. Don't even have that many belts in there. It's a little worrying. What's your issue? Your not outputting fast enough. Let's just change all of that to blue. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, well, we'll work with what we have. Run on the belts, it's a bit faster. Okay, so we have an input belt here. And then another input belt here. This one has two inputs there and there. Then up this end we've got an input belt here that curves down to meet the blue inserters but otherwise stays up one extra space. Ran out of belts. Okay, the output belt will come along here and skip under using underground belts. And, right, so this one here makes copper cable, this one makes advanced circuits, and then copper cable. No, that one makes copper cable, these ones make advanced circuits, copper cable, advanced circuits, oops, a bit too far away, copper cable. Advanced circuits. Okay, so we want um, plastic and 
circuits to come in there. So that one is plastic. This one will be circuits, which is here. So I don't actually need that belt. Uh, can I just make some? There we go. There's the plastic. There's the circuits. Um, and then we need copper to come in on that line up there. There we go. And he wants to go in on that line. Okay. So once this is powered up, um, this should now give us a nice output of um, red circuits, which I will put on. Is there anything on that line just to the right of steel? I thought I remembered putting something just to the right of steel. Steel's there. Plastic is there. Ah, I need to move plastic across by one. I thought I put plastic just to the right of steel, but apparently I didn't. Um, okay, and then red circuits can go just to the right of that. Okay, productivity module is done. I don't think there's anything else we need for... Um, yeah, nothing else we need for the rocket that requires only red and green, so now we can do some lab research speeds. That will help speed things up a little later. Okay, power. Oh, we've also got these belts to do. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, so now just power and we should get some red circuits coming at us. Okay, and just hook that up there. Bang! Okay, now let's uh, go and fix the iron supply issue. So we need some uh, stone furnaces we've got, electric mining drills we've got, um, inserters, we'll grab a few more of them. I think we're good to go. So we're essentially just going to copy this. Pop it right down next to it. Don't worry about that copper deposit. Okay, lab search speed. So I'll cue that. Um, can't do two yet. So is there anything else we like want? Extra space. Mining productivity, I guess. Stack inserter level one will be useful at least. Wait, is it stack inserter level one? No, that just unlocks the stack inserter, doesn't it? Inserter capacity bonus. That's the one we want. Inserter capacity bonus two. That gives normal inserters an extra pickup. Anyway, uh, I need some more power poles. So while we build them, uh, where is is there enough? Yeah, I can squeeze something off that. Okay, so we want 30 of these down. Okay, a little bit janky, but that has uh, 15 on each side, so what I'm going to do is just swap these around. Okay, so there we go. Then this needs power and inserters. Okay, excellent. So now, once we get up here, I'll just swap these around again. And now we have a second line of iron. So 
So I'll do some proper balancing at another time. Um, but that is done. Excellent. Okay, red circuits. Fantastic. Okay, so what do we need for blue science? Uh, blue science, we've got sulfur, we've got advanced circuits, engine units. I never got around to doing that, so let's do that now. Engine units, I'll pop on this side. And I, so, let's just remind ourselves what they take. Steel, gears, and pipes. So gears and uh, pipes I can make on site. So uh, you make gears, you make pipes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten machines making. Where are they? Engines. Okay, um, so they take a long time to make, they don't require that many materials, so we can get away with yellow inserters. They have three materials though, so we do need long handed inserters on the other side. And outputs there. Okay, so we've got gears and pipes, both of which require iron. Uh, I'll give these ones fast. So gears, pipes, they both require iron. Okay, and then we want some steel to come in on this line. So, how shall I do this? Just hop that under there. And steel lives here. There we go. So these guys want an output. There we go. Um, do I actually want them on the bus? Yeah, sure, why not? They're not really used for that much, but... I'm not sure where else to put them. Okay, so steel, then plastic, then uh, red circuits, so... They live there now. That's on the rightmost of that column. Then all of this needs power. Go. Okay, and that should get us the engines we need. Okay, now we can work on blue science. So blue science, where is it? Okay, takes 24 seconds to make two of them, so we need 12 machines. And I'll pop them just up here. Uh, I've only got one machine, so let's rethink that. There we go. So we've got red circuits, we've got engines, and we do have sulfur, although it's not strictly speaking, on the bus, and I have made a mistake, kind of. I think I can get away with it. Essentially, I did not leave myself enough space. Remember, I was supposed to have science coming down here. Now this one, this line here was red and green so that's already done so we can shift everything up but we need at least two okay what I'm gonna do so so this one here will be um, blue and purple this one here will be for yellow science we're gonna have to sidestep these I'll sidestep them by that much it's not very elegant but it saves... So if this wasn't um, a playthrough which in which I was concerned about speed at all, I would tear up my red circuit production and fix it. However, um, 
it is a playthrough that I'm concerned about speed. Okay, so over here now. Uh, make sure we've got plenty of room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that was twelve of them. Yeah. Uh, all making blue science, chemical science packs. Okay, and okay, sulfur circuits and engine units. Um, doesn't really matter about which one is close because I take an age to make and don't require that much in the way of materials. So, oops. So I just have inputs. Okay. Um, right. Sulfur, we never really actually joined the bus. So. Um, okay. First little bit of. Well, I suppose it's not the first, but this is going to be a little bit of spaghetti. There we go. So I'm going to bring the sulfur up here. And around like that. Okay. That will bring the sulfur in. Uh, red circuits. We want to come in on this line. So I shall. And engine units, they want to come in on this line, but I'm going to have to bump it up by one because it's interfering with the red circuits otherwise. Okay. Then they need outputs and they need power. Okay, electricity is starting to take a bit of a dive as well, um, so we'll just hook the blue science in with the labs, so it should just be a case of taking this down to there. Oh, and the labs will want inputs for these as well. And, um, right, we need to pick up some iron so we can help with the power situation. If you look, it is starting to go into the yellow again. Okay, I'm a little worried. I've just seen there is some um, iron ore on this belt. And there are some iron plates in there. That means there is probably some iron on my copper belt. I'll have to go and have a look at that. This one here, that's the culprit. If you look at it, down here it says 123,000 expected copper, 2.6,000 expected iron. So if I move that back to there, that should resolve that issue. But yeah, apparently a couple of those iron managed to sneak through. Okay, so popping over here, we'll finish off this column. And that should at least for now, resolve the power issues. And then next time we come back, we'll probably just build a whole column at once. There we go. Power's back in the green. Good. Okay, Stack Inserter technology has finished and I queued up the Advanced Electronics 2 so that way we can start working on some blue circuits. So blue circuits, they require green circuits, red circuits and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid we've already got down there being made, well it was being made, it's now actually full up, but that's fine.